everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have a video about dossier and um, I'm sure you remember that I did a video on it and I'll put it um, up here somewhere on the perfume and basically it's a company that in um, produces inspired fragrances from the leading brands out there that have beautiful fragrances but a very hefty price tag. Uh, Dossier brings that down all the way and um, it's such a joy to work with them so I'm happy to um, make this video today and share with you all the knowledge and my opinions on um, the products. So without further ado I have a few because I wanted to try out some brands that I've purchased in the past and I know the smell or I'm familiar with them and then I wanted to try out some new ones as well. So um, Dossier comes in really nice eco-friendly um, packaging like so. I really love the beige and um, it's the matte and it's just really really pretty and these are going to be great 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 presents for Christmas. And then at the back, it will tell you um, the name of what they call it. So Oriental Vetiver, and this is the 50 mil. So um, the great thing about Dossier is it comes with a card and it will tell you like the notes of the fragrance and who it's inspired by and the concentration and um, how it works. So for example, Oriental Vetiver is inspired by Brido, the Belle d'Afrique Eau de Parfum. And um, it's an 18% concentration, so it tells you the top notes, middle notes, and base notes, what it looks like. And it's a very sleek, modern bottle. It's glass, very, very chic. Um, they have, again, the notes of the um, fragrance, the name of the fragrance, and then Dossier. And this one's lovely. I'm gonna spray them all. I'm gonna spray them on the card. Mm. So Bal d'Afrique um, is a, I would just say it's like a very unisex smell. It's got that masculinity, sporty, um, citrusy scent. And so the top notes are bergamot, lemon, and buchu. I've never heard of buchu before. Middle notes are orange blossom, marigold, and violet. And the base notes are the vetiver, amber, the cedarwood. So I definitely think that musky male cedarwood comes through, but then the lemon also. So it's a very interesting smell. And something I've realized as well is that perfumes like this that don't cost the fraction of the price basically um, are really great to use elsewhere so if you have a very very special occasion and you just want to douse yourself in perfume this is a great company to do that because you get the smell you get the the longevity of it all you get the the really great concentration of notes um, and you don't have to feel so bad for like using it a lot so there's a lot of times where I've like sprayed it on co like coats or scarves or like in my hair um, I feel like if I spray it like very far like towards the ends of my hair it just lingers in so when the wind blows or something it catches it just lasts a little bit longer um, I just spray it all over I douse myself in perfume and I really don't feel so bad so that is vetiver let's go on to uh this one which is floral pear oh yeah okay so i got this one because this one's supposed to be inspired by joe malone english pear and freesia again concentration 18 and the top notes are pear bergamot watermelon and rhubarb and the middle notes are quince rose freesia orange blossom and the base notes are woody notes musk and amber and actually my fiance nick he loves joe malone i bought it for him for christmas last year and so I was really, really excited to um, try this one out because I have that smell and I wanted to know like how comparable it is. And it's there. It's completely inspired. Uh, this cologne reminds me of something when you walk into a Louis Vuitton store. It has this smell now. It's not <laughs> a fragrance by them. It's by Jo Malone. And Dossier has made one that's inspired by this. But this just smells classy. It smells, women can wear it, men can wear it. It is such a beautiful, really beautiful fragrance. And I love this inspired version. Um, I just feel like it makes everything so elegant. It's such an elegant fragrance. 
and I love it. And no one really talks about this one. Oh, I absolutely love it. That's better than the Belle de Freak by Burrito, in my opinion. Okay, then we have Musky Rose. And this one is, oh, okay. So this one, I bought this because this was my scent in my early 20s when I was in medical school. And this was the fragrance I died over. This is inspired by Narcisa Rodriguez for her Eau de Parfum. So Narcisa Rodriguez has like a black version, which I think is more intense, and a pink version. The top notes are Osmanthus, not sure what that is, bergamot and orange blossom, middle notes, rose, peach and jasmine, base notes, musk, patchouli and oak moss. And this is a 15% concentration. Oh my gosh. And yep. It smells like it. To me, it smells like it. Now, a lot of these fragrances, obviously, they, I'm honing it in. It's an inspired version of the fragrance, but they are so, so, so close. So much so that I wear one, and I'll tell you in a minute, and I've been stopped more times wearing the inspired version versus the original, and, and people thinking it's that actual, the original brand. So I'm really happy to spend half the price on a fragrance that gives me exactly the same results. And in fact, sometimes lasts longer in my opinion. Um, I just love the packaging. I love that it's 50 mils, it's small, I can travel with it. And um, I, again, I don't feel bad spraying it everywhere. So this really smells like it. It smells like a, if um, for her was a more sportier version, if that makes sense. Like it's not as concentrated. Um, it smells a little bit more sporty and that's the only way I can describe it or more like a, a body spray version of it. It's really, really great. It's perfect for any girly girl. And this is a magnetic cap as well, which I like. It's very heavy and it's just lovely. And look at them all, they're just so cute. Okay, then we have Oriental Cherry. And I got this one because I think I would never really buy um, the perfume. Let's see. And I definitely wouldn't pay the price tag. So Oriental Ch Cherry is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry Eau de Parfum. The top notes are cherry, almond, and cinnamon. Middle notes, clove, rose, jasmine, plum. Base notes, Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. Let's see. I haven't smelled this one, actually. I haven't smelled the real one, either. Okay. <laughs> wow. So this really... Yeah, I can smell the almonds. And I can smell the black, it's like a black cherry. It reminds me of a body spray that I got from Body Shop or even like a black cherry lip balm from Body Shop back in the day. I can see why people like that. If you are a cherry girl or boy fan, you're gonna love this. If you're not an almond fan, you're not gonna like it. Cause you can truly um, smell that scent. Uh, it kind of smells like Christmas in the sense of like a um, Christmas pudding. Uh, but with like an intense cherry smell on top of it. So yeah, you can really you can pull you can pull some of these notes And I feel like a lot of the perfumes they have all these notes and I can't necessarily like extract them But with dossier, I feel like you can really Hit all the elements you can smell them all throughout the day on the first spray You can really kind of gather like how wholesome they become and what a what a final scent it is so this is this one, it's very interesting. Also given a little spray bottle, and I obviously, if you like the scent, you keep both of them and you can pop this in your bag. But what you'll do is you'll, you'll sample this first. So you'll sample the, in a little like um, spray bottle. And if you don't like it, no questions asked. You pop it back in, um, get a return label from their website and ship it off. So this is a great way to sample it. You don't have to spray it on a card and then when you go back home, half the scent is gone and you're not really grabbing it. You have it like on your skin one time and you like it, but maybe your mood is different the next day and you won't like it. This allows you to try it 
quite often and get a real feel for it and then once you realize how it works with your chemistry and works with um, your body and your body odors and, and maybe you want to layer it with perfumes then you can do that with this little bottle and it just gives you a great opportunity to try it out and then if you don't like it as I said you just pop it back in the mailbox and it gets back to dossier and you get a refund so it's just such a really nice easy concept and actually I've never had to return one or I've never not liked one there was one time I did get one that I didn't like and I think it was one of the Lalabo scents it was too woodsy and musky for me but not in a in a man scent that I would like it on a man it just um it was too, almost too natural so what I, what did I do um I could have returned it no questions asked but I decided to use it as a room spray so it's a pricier room spray but I feel like it just um I just sprayed it on some pillows and I sprayed it on some like blankets and throws and eventually as it kind of diffused in it smelled really good and actually my home smelled really really bougie so I like that. This one is Amberry Saffron. You might know this one very very well because this one is after the beloved Maison Coeur de Jeanne Baccarat Rouge for 540 Eau de Parfum concentration 18 so the top notes saffron orange blossom middle notes jasmine plum cedarwood base notes oak moss fir and balsam now this one I've had before this one smells like Baccarat Rouge it does smell not as intense now I have to be careful with those words because I still feel like it's a warm, deep, strong scent from Dossier. I have the original one too, and they're they're very they're very 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 similar, but they're not the same. And I actually like this one a little bit better. I wear this more often because it's not as expensive, and I don't feel so bad. I get comments on this more than the actual original one. So every time I wear this, someone's like, that's Baccarat Rouge 540, isn't it? And I laugh and they're like, yeah, I know, I know. And I'm like, ah, uh, actually it's not. It's inspired by it, it's by Dossier. And I've told loads of people to go check it out and they're like, no way, no way. And it's always this one. I've had people stop me for Baccarat Rouge twice. I've had seven people stop me for the dossier version. This one is not $300. This one is much, much, much less expensive. And that, I mean, I can enjoy so much more. So I douse myself in this and I have no problem with it. This one's just fantastic. It smells, it smells just like it. It's a sweeter smell than a peppery smell. So if you don't like the pepper, you might like this one because it's a little bit more sweeter. It reminds me more of the oil. I have the body oil and the parfum. I like the body oil better. I think it's sweeter. It's just more um, softer. It has that warmth. It has that sweet. It has a little bit of the fruit. It's an overall beautiful, beautiful scent. And I will forever buy the Dossier version. And then finally, I have Floral Honeysuckle. And this one is inspired by Gucci Bloom. I've had a sample of Gucci Bloom from Sephora. I chose some really good scents, by the way, guys. So the top notes here are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle, mild notes, jasmine, sandback, tuberose, base notes, orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. So you can kind of see a theme with me. I love definitely the fruity floral scents. I love girly, elegant, um, charming, playful scents. Yeah. Now you see with this, I truly smell the honeysuckle. Oh, it's just absolutely romantic. This is such a romantic scent, like running through beautiful fields in the summertime. This is just womanly. This is so, this would be such a good fragrance for my mum. My mum loves, um, like Dior J'adore, um, she likes Poison, she likes um, Chanel Chance. This is like up her alley. This would this reminds me of my mum and she doesn't have it, but these are her scents. I feel like for any mother 
auntie, brother, sister, uncle, Tom, Dick and Harry down the road, whoever you want. These are such wonderful gifts. And I am going to be doing a wedding series. And these, and I'll give you a little sneak, these would definitely be a great bridesmaid proposal gift or bridesmaids gift or flower girl gift or mother of the bride or father of the bride or you know groom's mother a anyone you want this would be such a personal beautiful gift if you know their favorite scent or something they like definitely when you're getting married you're on a such a strict budget and so this just comes at such a great price point for christmas stocking stuffer stuffers for your best friend for um anyone in your life that really would enjoy fragrances and would like to try out like a whole load but for a, a better price this is the way to go and i just really really like the concept of trying it first on a really good sample size seeing how it works with your body chemistry and if it's good to go you keep it and then keep these for your clutch and um they just they look wonderful the only only thing and i said this last time with them was i love this packaging i love the eco-friendliness of it I love, I love everything, um, I love everything about it. The one thing I don't like is the labels. Now this one's fine, it's a shiny label, which is not a problem, but I feel like sometimes with the heat, especially where I live in Louisiana, they can bubble. So this one's okay, um, which one is kind of, um, I would say this one. So see here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it just bubbles a little bit. So you'll just want to make sure that you um, op like, you know, kind of spread it out thin. But even when you do so, you might get like a little crease. So if they made these like more of a matte label, kind of how they made their card stock, um, I feel like that would just um, present a little bit better. But yeah, those are my fragrances. I really, really hope you like it. If you've tried Dossier, let me know. And then also um, let me know what scents you like the best. But out of all of these, like n all of these are perfect. Like if you have never tried them or if you've tried them, these ones I think are probably one of the best ones out there. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.